All right, guys, Splits here. I'm gonna show you guys how to use Share Factory. I'm gonna show you guys everything that Share Factory has to offer. It's actually a really, really easy editor to use. So don't let this intimidate you. You guys can grow your YouTube channel, start it just by using this. It's actually really easy. So let's not waste any time and let's get right into it. So before this video starts, I know the majority of people watching this video are wanting to grow your YouTube channel. So I'm actually going to help you guys out. I am giving away three $25 PSN codes. Now you guys can do whatever you want with these. Like you guys can buy V bucks or anything off the PS store, but I'm only doing this for my subscribers. So if you guys aren't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also like the video and just comment done. So I know you guys did those three things. So yeah. So just in case you guys don't have this share factory app, just go to your library and then you want to go to applications and then if you scroll a little bit down. You guys should see share factory on your PS4. So yeah, so let's uh, start up share factory and let's do it. All right. So this is how the share factory main menu looks like. I'm only going to go over the videos tab because that's mostly what people are going to use anyways. Like I don't think anybody uses this photos or animating gifts part so I'm just gonna cover videos so once you're here you want to create a new project and then you guys will see these themes now it doesn't matter which theme you pick because we're gonna end up deleting them anyways so let's say I want this Fortnite theme you guys will see these four check marks you want to uncheck mark these because these are intros that you don't really want in your videos so from here this is where you see all your uh, clips that you recorded off your ps4 so you guys can see I have some here. So I'm just gonna use this one for my example. So it's literally just like a Fortnite clip that I just got. So from here, you would just press square to start the project and then continue. All right, so this is how the whole layout of Share Factory looks like. Now you guys may think, oh my God, this looks so complicated. What the heck do these buttons do? It's actually a super easy layout. And I thought the exact same thing, but as I started using this, it's actually a pretty simple editor to use. All right, so you guys can see on the bottom of your screen, that's where all the controls are gonna happen. So I'm gonna start with the X, which is basically where everything you guys can add anything. So let's say if I want to add a clip to my timeline, this is where I would go. And then add screenshot. If you guys have a certain screenshot you wanna show on your video, this is where it would be. All right, so the ad track two is basically where you're going to do your live commentary. So I'm actually going to do a quick example. So to actually start recording, you just want to press the X and then record audio. It's going to give you a countdown. So let me just do a live commentary real quick. Hey, I just want to do a live commentary and just say I'd clap face way in a 1v1. All right, so I'll just stop it right there. So let's just hear it. Hey, I just want to do oh my god that is so freaking loud so to actually so for my example mine's too loud so I would just press square and then clip volume and I'm just gonna lower this like I don't know why my mic is so loud so let's just do 25 percent hey I just want to do a live commentary and just say I clap face way in a 1v1 all right so yeah that's honestly cringy to hear but yeah if you guys wanted to move it like in a, in a certain area you guys can just by pressing square and moving clip so yeah that's the live commentary i'm actually gonna delete it because i don't want this to be in my actual video all right so all right so next is the add music now share factory does have music already installed on here but i do have a video on how to make you, how to get your own music on the share factory so if you guys want to check that out, go ahead. I'm not going to cover in this video because like I said, I already have a video on that. Now add overlay. Now this is basically now these things right here, these stickers and text. These are actually good for making thumbnails. And yes, guys, you can make thumbnails using share factory, but I'm actually going to cover that later in the video. I just wanted to cover over camera effects because this is pretty good for making like montages. So like, I'm going to use this poll set as an example. So yeah, let's uh, actually play it to show you guys how it looks like. 
so yeah it's literally just a little pulse so yeah if i wanted to like lower down the intensity i can and maybe make the effect a little last a little longer so let's just confirm it so let's actually make it let's say 10 seconds let's actually play it now so yeah you got you guys get the idea i know there's some people out there that can actually make really cool um effects with these with their montages so yeah that's where you guys go for like the uh effects on share factory all right so add filter this is pretty much a stupid um thing like no who would want to have these in their video like it's basically instagram for your videos and i don't really uh, like it add layout another one like who would want to freaking use who would want to have their video cut in half like this i guess you guys could use these um effects like this but i don't really like it personally all right guys so you guys can see that's basically all the adding now we don't have the add transition part because we haven't started splitting our video so let's actually do that so square is basically where all the magic happens this is where all the editing happens so yeah so time bender this is basically if you want your clip to be super fast or if we want it to go super slow this is where you would go so that's called time blender all right so next is the split clip this is where we can now start editing our video so splitting clip is actually very important share factory so let's actually go to it so now from here in this uh clip i actually got two kills so i'm just gonna go over where i got the first kill in this clip so it should be somewhere around here i think all right i think it's somewhere right here all right so yeah i can see there's the first kill i got so i'm actually gonna back up a little bit so let's say i wanted to stop right here so from here i would just split it confirm it so yeah i can see now i don't need all this boring stuff of me like searching around houses and stuff so from here we would just press square and then delete and now you guys can see my clip now starts where I got the first kill. So I'm actually going to play it real quick. So yeah, boom, there's the first kill. So now I want to split it from here now because that's going to be, this is going to be my first clip. So I'll just press X and then split it. And now you guys can see we have our first clip right here. This is basically like a five second clip. So now we just go to our second one, which I got the kill like right here, I think. Yeah, all right. So let's say I wanted it to start it like right here, I guess. So again, we just split it. And now we don't need all this uh, boring stuff right here because I just want the two kills on my video. So I would just delete this and then I'm just going to let it play out the whole time. So let's see how this all looks like. And boom guys, we, we literally just took a two minute clip and just made it into this short clip of me just getting those two kills. So now if we go back, we should have the add transition option now. So this is basically little transitions you guys can add in your video. I'm just going to show you guys like a quick example. Let's say I wanted to do this one. So now if we just press play, it just adds that little transition. I'll play it one more time. So yeah guys that's the transition all right so now it's the thumbnail so if you guys don't know share factory isn't just for editing you can also make thumbnails with this so i'm just gonna like go to add screenshot and let's say i want this to me to be my thumbnail i would just select it and just add screenshot and then you guys can see this is my thumbnail so let's say i want to add like i don't know add an overlay so this is what i was talking about the stickers these stickers and text are like good for thumbnails so i'm just gonna add text you guys can pick whichever text you want doesn't really matter and let's say i want my thumbnail to say subscribe which you guys should do right now so let's say okay it doesn't really matter the duration because we're just gonna take a screenshot so this is where you can like change different colors of the text so i'm just gonna leave it white actually so my text is actually pretty small, so I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger. 
or pressing R1. You guys can see this is this is how you make it bigger. Maybe you can also add like a slant to it. Makes it a little bit better. So yeah, let's say uh, I'm actually gonna put it like maybe right here or something. This is just an example, but you guys get the idea. So if you so let's say I, this is my thumbnail, I would just confirm it. Go back. So so here's my thumbnail. So to actually apply this. You would just press the options button and then generate thumbnail and then boom the project has been saved you can now delete this because obviously you don't want your thumbnail to be in your actual video so just press square and then delete clip and then confirm it all right so the next and final step is to obviously render it and upload it to youtube so from here you would just press triangle and then it's gonna start rendering so you guys can like upload it to wherever you want. All right, so now it says here we can now share it. So we're gonna share it now. So once you share it, you guys can see YouTube. I don't get why my YouTube account is not linked, but from here you can just make your title, description and all that stuff. And yeah, that is basically it. That's the whole thing of Share Factory. It's actually a pretty easy editor to use, like I said. Like you can like start a YouTube channel and grow it just by using this free editor on the PS4. So yeah, guys, if this helped you out, please subscribe. Also give it a like and yeah, guys, thanks for watching.